with a staff sling, seeing if I could figure out any tips and trips for a staff slinger that hasn't really done it before, y'all. Hopefully this video will take all day. Stay tuned. Yeah! Alright, y'all. Let's try to get us a little distance with this thing. <clears throat> Aiming is pretty difficult. I ain't gonna lie. But, just like with slinging, you know, throw four and get kind of used to it and then get close to the target practice, you know? Alright. Well, they got a lot of bait in the water in this thing. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's finish this off with the old bottle shot. What can I think about? I'm new to this, y'all. I'm, I, you know, this is a hand slinger, trying to give y'all tips and trips, tips and tricks of a staff sling. So if I have a few things I can think of, I could be wrong on all this, but I do think that rocks tend to go the same way as they go when you're slinging. A smaller rock, low left; bigger rock, high right. Could be wrong when you're slinging. You need to kind of think about the weight back here because if you dip that happens okay so you don't want to dip drop it and throw and if i don't know it, it seems like if you go too fast you don't let the weight do its thing that doesn't work too good neither and the way i think about it i think about it just a long arm you know think about it as a big you're going like this, ah, you know? So you're trying to hit this angle, it's going down like that. You know, if that make any sense, you know, cause you can either go like swing it like that or you can kind of jerk it like that, you know? And I, I had bet, I got better luck doing a whole throw like that, you know? When I'm slinging personally, all right, I go over the top. So my rotation's usually going down. Most Valeric slingers, they go from the bottom up and the rotation's up, like they're throwing the ball up so it curves up, if anything. With this staff sling, when you throw it, it feels like the rock has a backwards rotation because I could throw some small rocks that's like flat and when I throw them, it's like, it goes up. So that might be one advantage to a staff sling of a hand slinger is the rotation of the rock will let it go further. So, you know, with that being said, uh, also today, today, uh, 
I introduced a, a, a beginning slinger to the staff sling, and she liked this more than a, than a hand sling. So I can see how the popularity of these could be better, but she also did say it's gonna take a long time to learn how to aim with these, which to me is the biggest problem. But just like slinging, and I really don't know exactly what what with this. I know how this was hand slinging, but if I'm throwing and I keep my mind focused on how I threw last time, I can adjust my throw. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to explain how, but you feel it. You know, if you throw normally, I, I'll throw on low. So say you gotta throw a little high. Then it goes a little too high, you gotta bring it down. You know, you kind of get the feel of it. You know what I mean? But I know aiming with these things are, are real hard. I would love to do more video, more shots today, which uh, I'll probably do in the future. But you know, I just want to get a little staff sling in. I got my little sessions in the day. I'm, I'm complete on everything. Got my training in for a beezer. But uh, hell yeah. Hope y'all like what y'all seen today. If y'all did, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend. And when you do, turn that notification bell. Thanks. Practical paracord, hey, you don't want to miss it. Keep you entertained, you know that we talking slinging. Catch them in Louisiana, sling king. Find them down south, slinging giants like it's David and Goliath. Uh, make sure you subscribe now. All the slinging techniques, slinging so hard I could kill a beast. Come and check me. Hey, I know that you gon' like it for sure. Make sure that you tune in to Practical Paracord. Let's go.